Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center. For today's training, we got some impact training to do. We've got a couple drills for you, and uh, this is going to help advance your strikes and making sure that you are getting the most bang for your buck with every strike that you deliver. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you've been training with us for a while, hit the thumbs up button, and let's get training. All right, I got my uh, bob dummy right here. When you're doing impact training, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be uh, a bob dummy like this. It could be a stack of tires. It could be a tire swinging from a tree, a heavy bag, um, anything. You can have a PVC pipe concreted into a bucket and wrap some foam around it or something like that. It doesn't really matter. There's anything that you can strike that can take a beating. That's the most important thing. So when we're doing our impact training, Okay, the number one thing to understand with our impact training is that this really is not about developing power. Power in your strikes is developed through exercising and developing the mechanics of the strike, the striking mechanics, the mechanics of the body. And the more that those mechanics are coordinated and calibrated to your footwork, and the more that you're able to increase flexibility and speed and have more accurate timing, have good precision of the weapon, good control, and also have good accuracy of being able to hit the target, all those things will add up to maximizing your power. But when we're training with a dummy or doing impact training, okay, however hard we hit it, whatever the amount of power we decide to hit this with, what we're really developing more so is the follow through of the strike. Making sure that we're generating enough power, but also enough uh, momentum and follow through that we don't get stuck, that we can swing all the way through regardless. This is why we do impact training. This is called impact training because we're using the impact weapon. If we're using blades, then we do cut test training. Right? And then you have like tatami mats and you have different things that you cut. And you wanna make sure that you either have enough follow through with a fluid strike or understanding a good follow through with a broken strike so that way your weapon isn't getting stuck in there. So that's what our impact training is really doing. So I got two drills for you to work out. And the first drill is really, really simple. We're gonna keep it with our basic angles one and our angles two. And we're gonna start off with this full chamber all the way back and we're gonna strike one, two, right there. And the reason we're starting off with this full chamber position is that we are fully loaded so we can strike with full speed and full power. Because you can't tell me that if you're starting right here that you're gonna strike with more power and more speed and more follow through as you would be from here, right there, okay? Because for you to start in this position, there's nothing wrong with that, but you know there's times to do it. But if you're striking with full power to get that full maximum benefit of the shot and get that follow through and cover that full surface to strike, you gotta cock this thing back in order to deliver that full intent strike. So if you're already there, then you can start controlling range and navigating terrain through your footwork and protect yourself primarily through your footwork. Now you're ready to deliver 100% right there, straight out. And that's what we wanna start with. That doesn't mean we don't get to the point where we do have short power, there is short power, but we gotta develop the full mechanic before we can get into developing the short power or the shortcuts. So here's the basic drill number one. We're just gonna strike one and two. One, two, and then pause that chamber and then go again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And if you have a bob dummy, you're just going right for the eyes, right for the bridge of the nose. Right? If you end up hitting the neck, that's fine but you would do, we still wanna work on accuracy. So I'm going straight to the bridge and straight to the bridge. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, right there. And you're focusing on the follow through of the strike. That's drill number one. All right, let's take a look at drill number two. This is gonna help develop more follow through and start increasing speed. The returning of the strike is what allows us to increase speed so we can deliver faster 
multiple attack strikes or what Bruce Lee talked about attack by combinations right if we don't have a good return this is why the follow-through is so important if we follow through but we don't have a good return on the weapon that means it's taking too much time because then we got to do something so we can strike that next strike we want to make sure we follow through and return the weapon to the next position as efficiently as possible so that way we can get that next strike out at the right timing if i'm like striking like this and then i gotta come up right i'm losing time so later on obviously there's a lot more drills that we can do all these other manipulations and be able to move from angle to angle but right now we're just focusing on the basics of angles one and two because that's the beginning so the next drill we're going to still stay on one and two but we're going to do counts of three so first real slow the drill is one two one and then just take a quick breath and then two one two breath one two one breath two one two right there and just work that out that's the second drill work on those two drills the first drill is really good to dial in the accuracy and the precision of your strike and make sure you're striking with coordination you're testing and make sure you're getting that good follow through and then the second drill is now we're working that follow through and the return of the weapon so we can start getting the next strike out even faster while still getting that follow through and having that consistency of follow through return and then initiation of the next strike so work these out you're going to get a lot of benefit from them and from time to time we'll come back and i'll give you some more impact training drills that you can do to enhance your collie all right guys to continue training with us hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already hit a thumbs up if you like this impact training uh, and you want to see more of it because the more you guys are telling me in the comments if you like this type of training want to see some more drills and want me to give you some more drills you got to let me know and you can do that either by letting me know in the comments below that you appreciate this video and uh, you like this idea of training or simply just by hitting the thumbs up button for even extra training drills and stuff like that even on the impact training uh, you can always become a sponsor of the channel and check out our members area where we have extra exclusive training videos even some impact training drills and all that good stuff as well. Or head on over to colliecenter.com and check out all of our advanced training on over there, over at our online academy. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Remember, the most important thing is just get out there, go train, and just go have some fun. Don't take everything too seriously. Just go have fun, and you're going to get better a lot faster.